Luca, what's going on? Listen, the thing they brought in here, don't go near it. People have changed and they're all screwed up and acting loony. Maybe we should call Sergeant Teller. What for? It's his project, he knows what's going on. This time I'm not gonna walk away and forget. You don't do anything stupid. Delikatny jak wietka. Bo to oczyń bóle z nieno.
Shit, man, it was, it was the wire. You saw it. Just like Florida. One of the containers is missing, sir. Well, we better locate it, because I intend to blow every single one of them to hell. What is immortality but the need to be remembered? We throw around terms like family and love when it comes to procreation, when in fact all we're doing is perpetuating the species and generating instant immortality through our genes. 
We're so selfish as to expect the next generation to love us and fear us so that they feel in turn compelled to continue the line, the patriarchal ideal of uninterrupted progeny. Is that what you read, Emma? You sure know how to woo a girl, Isaac. She said yes? You're dating Emma? Just give him my two cents. Don't pay attention to Jackie, kid. He's just jealous. Have you done it? Have you? No. It's none of your business. You get out in a week. She still has two months to go. What are you gonna do? Come visit? Of course I'll come visit her. Uh, and you. And you too, Donwin. Get out of here. And the moment I'm out that door, it is hasta la vista, amigos. I mean, no offense, but there's nothing that can make me come back to this hellhole. Well, I kind of like Spaghetti Wednesdays. They brainwash you, Sam. I, I, I mean, they give you spaghetti to make you forget that it's medication day. Wait till you get out, I'll take you for some real spaghetti. Hey, Isaac. Read some more. Read the part about the statues. Okay. The depiction of one's physiognomy, face, bust, body, and a statutory form is the most immediate indication of triumph. To have the next generation commemorate one's appearance in stone indicates a direct link with the perpetuation of physical details and hence the genetic proof of family ties. When I get out, I'll make a bust. I know it's Barnett's tits. Why wait? <laughs> Arts and crafts starts again on Friday. <laughs> Sam, that pair of tatas will live in my mind forever without the aid of a chisel. They are immortal. <laughs> We're just in denial about death. So we invent ways to carry on, because there's nothing after death. Right, Donlin? Don't ask me. The prophet has spoken. Don't call me that. You know, why does it always feel like we've had this conversation before? Oh, I remember, because we've had this conversation before. Death is not a bad thing. It's natural. Immortality just takes the edge off of it. Can't we just change the subject? Oh, great. Just add more junk to the site. Hey, that's my area, Jackie. A little rotting apple's not gonna make a difference, okay? What's gotten into you? Nothing. Sorry, Jackie. I'll come visit you, too. Are you having nightmares again? Just lay off the subject today, okay? Treasure! Treasure! <laughs> Only you would have seen that in all that greenery. What's inside? Who cares? It's treasure. May I see it? What does it say? It's got a name and a number. DeLuca Dale RMH346441. Open it. May I open it? Uh, the lid must be rusted shut. I'm sure we can clean it up when we get back. You keep it. We'll open it tonight. Don't. Something bad's gonna happen if you do. Why is that, Isaac? I don't know. I, I just know it's bad. You know what? For somebody who's supposed to be cured of supernatural fantasies, you sure know how to spook the shit out of the rest of us with your nonsense. He didn't mean it. He's just not good at the emotional stuff. Maybe I'm not cured. Maybe I need to stay another month. Emma will be fine. You need to get your life back in order.
Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, Patty. Hi, Donwin. Clean? Woodsy. Let's go, move it, girls. Move it! I am on break. Break's over when I say it's over, you understand? Emma, don't you have a session to go to? In half an hour. You need to curb that attitude. Marshall, please. we have a code 12 in the men's bathroom, dorm two. On my way. What an asshole. Nastier words come to mind. I'm going to be happy. No matter what, I'm going to be happy. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I've never been more sure. Isaac is perfect. You're dating a guy that's leaving in a week. I mean, does that sound sensible to you? Patty, love is not sensible. Probably just a crush. I'm walking on clouds. Darling, please, spare us the cheesiness. Shut up! Vicky, mind your own business. You make it sound like you're losing your virginity. You're right. Everybody knows you screw anyone for a penny. You got it wrong. Emma's a cutter, you're the junkie hoe, and, and I don't see anyone offering you a penny for it. Fuck you! That wouldn't give you a penny either. She really thinks you'll be back to visit? They never do. Poor Emma. She'll probably be sent back to Suicide Watch. Oh well, I guess we have to deal with the heartbreak next week, won't we? If you're her friend, you do something about it. I feel centered. Although bad thoughts are still there, but uh, there's just a lot more light, so they can't sneak up with me. <laughs> mm. Good. What about missing time? Getting any of those feelings back? No. I'm holding up pretty good. What about you? What about me? Well, weren't you having a rough patch there with some of your crew? My crew? Oh. <laughs> Isaac's been telling on me. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> it just doesn't get Isaac into any trouble. Yeah, no, no. No, I'm glad you're sharing in our adventures. We just get worked up about some pretty silly stuff sometimes. Guys are like that. Girls can be like that, too. Anybody giving you trouble at the dorm? If you don't want to talk about it, it's cool. No. It's not that, it's just, it's just not worth it. You the woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cured, aren't I? I think soon enough. Well, Isaac's getting on Friday. Yes, he is. <clears throat> Listen. Don't keep these feelings inside. If there's something you need to tell me, or Isaac, you should do it. Okay. Nope, no more for me, Ava, thanks. You okay? Sure, I'd be better if Dr. Heller got off my back. What's up? Oh, you haven't heard? Well, he wants me to write a report every night on my staff's extracurricular activities. What, like soccer games and dinner? Yeah, 
That's our free, personal, private time, Donwin, and it's none of his business. He can be a little obnoxious, but he's a good doctor. No, you're a good doctor. You care about your patients. Hell, I don't know of any other doctor that actually sleeps in the same quarters as his patients. To Dr. Heller, it's all part of a project. You're a project. I'm a project. They're a project. I just don't think his heart is in the right place. Oh, shoot. I need to supervise Isaac's visit. Uh, could you do me a favor? Please line the prescriptions up for me. I need to revise dosages for medication day. Oh, and Jackie may need a sleeping aid. Uh, offer it to him, but it's okay if he doesn't want to take it. Sure thing. Ava, your heart is in the right place. I don't know what I would do without you. My friend Ken Punk. Punk? He's, He's all drunk. drunk. He's more brain damaged than he already was. Uh, you, you stupid, stupid bitches, bitches have ruined, have ruined everything. everything. But for what? You must die. <laughs> Keep it down. Hey, Sam. Sam. The, the, the best part is coming up. Uh, hang on a sec, I'm almost done. Hurry up! Just press pause. I can't. It'll kill the suspense. Oh. People need to grow up. Never. Oh, fucking cubicles in this joint. crap you're watching. What do you want? You look like shit. Did you find anything out there today that I could sell on the internet? No. every day. I want us to be together. Forever. What do you say? Will you think about it? Yes. You will? No, I mean, yes. I love you, Isaac. sex tonight. The rules say no sex, so go do your job. Where? In visitation room. You, you gotta stop me. He's no good for her. Marshall, we may have a two one in the visitation room. Fine. Go back to bed now. On my way. We'll continue our little conversation later. Mr. 
this, Jack? Frankenhole. Bathroom. Constipation. Uh-huh. <laughs> Frankenhole. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hey! Uh, did you think you could get away with that? Drop Isaac right now, Marshall. <laughs> and see you there, Doc. You good, Marshall? Got it under control. What did you think you were doing? The rules are real clear about patients having sex. What sex? This was a supervised visit. Supervised, huh? I need to take Isaac back to his dorm. Maybe you should escort Emma back. But I will. Come on. It's all right. Come on. Come on, Emma. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Move. Okay, Viper. What did you do this time? Look. I'm not your problem. That crazy bitch is. I'll be back later. <sighs> you are looking at the solitary cell, Vicky. But I'm just trying to help. <sighs> Marshall. Um. Can we uh, see Isaac off to his dorm? Because I'm scared for him. Yeah, I'm scared for him too. And especially after you go see the gynecologist tomorrow. Emma, he's not good for you. I'll help you. I will. Go ahead. Emma! 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 Lover boy. Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, don't. Green thermos, don't forget. Oh, that's right. Let me take a look at it. <laughs> what? It's gone. Oh, ah. oh, fuck. It's gone. It was right there. Where's Jackie? Oh, Jackie's in the bathroom. Donwin, don't don't let him open it. Jackie, are you okay? Uh, I'll be out in a minute. Hey, uh, listen, Sam can't find his thermos. Uh, I was wondering if you've seen it. You know the green one he found today? Thermos? Yeah, I was thinking that maybe if you had it by mistake, you'd leave it as you found it. What color did you say it was? Don't let him open it! Jackie. It's unbroken, okay? We give it a wash, it's as good as new. <sighs> Something strange back there. I felt like you were in danger. What's going on, Isaac? Nothing. It's... You shouldn't have come in here. Well, it's too late now. I'm here. Exactly. They're here and not in their dorms. What kind of place are you supervising, Dr. Donwin? Marshal, get everybody where they should be. Dr. Donwin, in here. Come on. Right Let's go. now. Dr. Heller, I... Right. I'm borrowing the other thing for a little while. Keep it. This is the one I like.
Dr. Donovan, I'm not a fan of your methods, but uh, I have to admit that progress has been made in some of these cases. Although I'm not sure the end justifies the means. It's getting them to reorganize their thinking, to um, focus on their problems and to solve them on their own. By placing them in harm's way? Calculated risk. Not that different than sending them to clean up the ravines. Physical activity promotes general well-being. Why are you having them break rules deliberately? That's the point. They're not breaking them. They are given a choice, and they are consistently making the right ones. Even the fastest deer will get hit by a car when it has to cross the roads too many times. You're underestimating them. And you may be overestimating them. You left the meditation room with your patients inside. Emma, we'll get a full medical checkup tomorrow. And I would like to have a word with Isaac. They did not break the rules. We let science decide. Good night. to give you a heart attack. Oh. Just wanted to let you know that everything's back to normal if normal exists. <laughs> Emma okay? Oh, she'll be fine. She's just got a little cough, nothing serious. I'm making my famous pot roast on Saturday. <coughs> what was that? Red wine goes well with it. <coughs> you said about Saturday? <laughs> I prefer Californian. 7 p.m. Good night. Good night. Hi. My name is Don Wynn. I work at Ravenside Memorial Hospital. I found a strange object with similar inscription. It's column shaped, about five inches long, half an inch across at the middle. Have you seen anything like this before?
did she just ask me on a date? Skin's peeling. So's yours. <coughs> My eyes. Gross. Cool. Don, what is happening to us? I'm not sure. It seems to be an allergic reaction to something. Yeah, like 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 maybe a poison, a a, a, a snake poison. Why snake poison, Boris? Well, it's the skin, the skin we're shedding like snakes do. Oh man, aren't we a pretty picture? Well, I'm going to get dressed. God damn. I'm not gonna miss breakfast. I'm not hungry. Well, speak for yourself, Sonny. You know what I'm in the mood for? Some really greasy sausages. I have to go see Emma. And she's probably feeling sick too. It's gotta be whatever was in that thing last night. She's probably at her medical. And you need to see Dr. Heller. He needs to sign your release papers. Why is Emma getting a medical? She just had one two weeks ago. It has nothing to do with me, Isaac. You know I trust you. Don't read too much into it, okay? Don't win this. Listen, I'm going to help you guys no matter what. Go get dressed. back in a few moments. Try to relax. Deep breathing. Okay, I'll only be a minute.
The nation added more than 300,000 jobs in March. The largest increase in four years. The president has held a number to sign a new economic plan for workers. However, most of the growth has felt that the first strike and construction of the country. The president has proposed a $3 Get out! This report don't lie. And once the doc reads it, it's gonna be another month for you and your little boyfriend in solitary. Plus, all the adoption papers you'll have to fill out. You didn't think they'd let you keep it, did you? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe you can help me. Here's the report. You can hide it till then. You'll be out in two months. Come on, Emma. What do you say, baby? Come on. No, please don't put me... Go! Stay away from me! What's going on? Uh, I need a fucking doctor! Jesus! Hungry. What the hell is going on, Doctor? Two days ago, my hospital was as quiet as a morgue, but now I'm getting a crisis a second. What's happening in Dormitory One? I, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Maybe you should read this. So much for underestimating your patience. She's pregnant? Your responsibility is to all my patients, not just your select few. Maybe if you stopped playing matchmaker, you'd see that what they really need is order 
and discipline. I uh, can't release Isaac under these circumstances. Dr. Heller, <coughs> this is entirely my fault. I may have led them... No, actually, I know that I led them to think that it was okay to get into me. So, you lied to me? Yes. Yes, I did, doctor. They're getting married. <laughs> One wrong does not undo another wrong. What, what will their life be like if we let them go out there thinking they're cured? <laughs> Your uh, project to bring together a suicidal patient and a necrophobic is fascinating on paper. They uh, should cancel each other out, right? They're not a project. You let me deal with them from now on. I'm confining Isaac to his dorm. Emma will stay in solitary until the rest of the tests come back. They don't deserve this. You're being too harsh on them. Not as harsh as I'm going to be with you, doctor. I give you time to explore your ideas. <laughs> now, we'll go by tried and true methods. You move back to your doctor's quarters tomorrow. <coughs> Were you at the ravine yesterday? Like every Tuesday. You look a little pale. Pick up a cold? Maybe a mild one. What's about your patients? Are they also sick? No, they're feeling much better today. Oh. One epileptic attack with chicken pox, two food poisonings, a viral in a region, peeling skin, varicose veins on the face. Where exactly were you? The um, left road ravine, by the well. The Deluca ravine. Deluca? I've never heard it called that before. Maybe you and your patients should stay at your dorm until you're really better. Don't want anybody come down with the flu. And, uh, doctor, I expect you to wear your coat from now on. Yes, doctor. Strange. Me too. I still pretty. You're monster pretty. You know what I think? I think we're morphing. Why would you say that? Permission to come in. The privileges have been revoked. Without eyes to see and ears to hear. Right where it should have been. Yeah. 
Teller. General Teller, please. Like he doesn't know who we are. It's like a staph infection is eating away at his skin. Nobody enters or leaves this building. We are under quarantine. From now on, I'm the only one allowed in this corridor. Permission to bear arms granted. If any patient from Dome 1 tries to attack you, shoot him. I'll keep them loaded. Aim for the head. that ever happened? There's no shame in it. It's a good thing. Just not allowed by this place's rules. I know that. We know that. <laughs> you gave us your trust. We would never do anything to violate that. It could be a false positive. Well, then that's what it is. It's almost certain that by controlling the female, the paterfamilias could ensure the survival of his lineage. Sometimes through cajoling and gentleness, but mostly through violence. A woman's fidelity guaranteed the immortality of a family's genetic material. Modern research has determined that there is a direct line of DNA that runs through humanity, linking all who come from it. The mitochondrial DNA, the mother's genetic code. Ironically, no such lineage exists for males. All these gorgeous babes on that lonely planet, and no guys. It was heaven for the astronauts. <gasps> Travel to Mars! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Many scientists believe that this DNA line leads all the way back to the first human female, whom they call Eve. Okay, 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 my turn, my turn. She was 50 feet tall. Attack the 50-foot woman. How you know? You cheating! I don't think so. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than that, Sam. Okay. Well, how are you feeling, Doc? Huh. Peachy. How about yourself? Odd. Yeah, a little sleep will cure anything. I'm not tired at all. Uh, um, I'm sorry about last night. I just I wanted to prove that there was there was nothing wrong with opening the thermos. Well, I guess there was, wasn't it? 
Jackie, if you hadn't opened it, I would have. So how sick are we? I don't know. Well, when do you think they'll let us out again? Because I, I want to check on my tomatoes. <laughs> In a couple of days, I'm sure. What are they up to? Boris and Sam are at their stupid fucking game, and hmm. Isaac's reading from his book. Listen, Jackie, um, there may be a few changes later in the week. Yeah, well, I want Isaac's cubicle as soon as he's out of here. Yeah, um, whatever happens, remember, I'm on your side. If you say so, Doc. Uh, excuse me for a sec, would you, Jackie? Hi, Donwin. I'm Jerry. If what you found looks anything like this, do not open it. I repeat, do not open it. One of these went missing in 1968. According to my source, it contains some sort of infectious agent that affects the DNA with very unpredictable results. My source tells me that anyone exposed to this is immediately searched and destroyed by the government. Look, hang in there. I'll be in Ravenside tomorrow afternoon. Don't tell anyone you have it. Don't show it to anyone. Bye for now. And, of course, it just gets better and better. Tonight, we sleep. Tonight, we sleep. Cured. I don't need this crap. No! Here we go, Sean. Come on, buddy. Come on. How you doing, baby girl? You must be tough without your friend, huh? Don't call me that. Some girls are just like that, baby girl. Always thinking with their pussy. Oh. Thanks, Amy. Dr. Heller's armed the personnel. Armed? He doesn't want anybody leaving the quarantine area, which means the entire building. I saw Marshall last night. He's nothing like he was. He's a mass of raw muscle and nerves and... It's the flesh-eating virus. The bike got infected. Something to do with her saliva. Come to think of it, you guys don't look so hot either. I'm glad she's back in solitary. Stay away from me, bitch. Quite common, actually. About the bite. Our mouths are cesspools for bacteria. I've never heard of it warranting a quarantine. The way our patients interact, it could lead to a greater spread of the bacteria. 
Stay sharp, Ava. And stay away from Marshall. Uh, is Cabernet okay? I prefer Beaujolais. The sooner you admit you're never gonna be cured like Emma, the better off you'll be. Please, baby girl. She'll never give you the time of day either. I don't think she's into kissing toads like you. <laughs> Ladies, cut it out. What? No solitary? Go, face, Vicky. Ah, uh, another medication day goes by without a hitch. Fuck you! Ladies! Fuck it! They're armed. Wow. What? I'm just a doctor doing his rounds. Hey, what about... Uh, we can worry about the tomatoes later. Relax, people. I'll be right back. Could you check on Emma? Please? Sam. Keep it safe. Maxine, what's up? The usual. What happened to you? Hi, Pete. Clean? Dead. 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 There's a situation in the medication room. Permission to administer sedatives. Permission granted. Copy that. Doctor says to go ahead. Whoa, well, area's closed off. I have a patient I need to check on. Frank. It can wait. Emma. Go back to your room. But, no, you don't understand. She needs me. She's my friend. I have orders to shoot. Please go back to your room. I want you to understand that she needs me. I... Well, they're going to burn us alive. Just shut up already. I'm trying to think. It's a first. <laughs> But they always do. They always kill those who have the alien virus. Right, Boris? It came from Planet B, 1956. <laughs> Aliens. Well, they could be a problem. Uh, okay, okay, let, let's just look at the facts. We're changing. Understatement. We can't eat. Can't sleep. We don't bleed. Can't sleep. New nails. New skin. We feel each other's pain. We're inside each other's heads. Tell us something we don't already know. I haven't had my medication today, Gregory. Don't push it. Have my money. You know what? I'm tired of your conspiracies and your stupid fucking games. You're crazy, not me. I'm here because I have a bad temper, so don't give me any of your I'm better than you bullshit. I am not a freak. I have never hurt anyone in my life. Hey, hey, 
If you two start fighting, we're all gonna end up black and blue. So funny. Okay, you made your point. Then let's get out of here. Donovan said to stay. You know, as crazy as it is, Sam is right. The moment they find us, we become scientific projects. Donovan can't protect us this time. Security, we have a situation in the medication room. Please respond. Security team one responded. Come on, let's go. What am I going to do, Marshal? I'm risking everything here to see where this leads. I guess the infection differs from each exposed individual. You're probably at the end of the vegetative spectrum. To cure or not to cure you, Marshal? Imagine the power this little key holds. But if you waste it on you, you're too far gone. I'm afraid it's early in time for you, Marshal. I'll arrange your trip to the crematorium. It's a monster! In pursuit of immortality, we've often ignored the very act of dying. How often do we remember a beautiful birth over a tragic death, a touching goodbye, a twist of fate, a series of coincidences, a sweetheart's last kiss, a broken heart? Perpetuating one's memory may simply lie in the manner of one's passing. Isaac, you're not dead. We can hear you. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. Dr. Helen, please come in. Where's that stuff on the window? supposed to open this door. 
no matter what. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm here to see Donwin. He's on his way. Excuse us. You just wait right here. You stupid bitch. Watch me run. Maybe if you haven't taken all those drugs, your chest for Pete's sake. It's a bit bad, Whoa! <laughs> this is better than Resurrector, the 62 version. <sighs> we can't be killed. That's bullshit. We're dead. Don't you get it? Dead! You know, cut the death crap! It's bad enough you keep ranting on about that stupid book you keep reading from! He's right. You are dead. By human standards, anyway. I guess you open the vial. It contains a recombinant virus. It takes your DNA and deconstructs it and reshapes it. The results can be phenomenal, superhuman-like, or hellish. I guess it's safe to say we're past the reconstruction phase. Not really. It develops at the same speed as your body's individual metabolism to take it. That much is known. You guys are just at the larva stage. You have no idea. This could be the beginning of the ultimate contagium. The, the coming plague. Enlighten us! Please, you don't hurt me. Maybe we're still contagious. I don't like you. You are. You're very contagious. Should we call the police? I think we should. What, bother them over a patient gone haywire? That's our job description. Keep your eyes open. Let's go.
You smell like shit! Okay, listen up everybody. We need you to go to your dorms right away. And stay there, we have a situation. Let's go! Let's go now! Come on, now. Yeah, DeLuca, this was my dad's. His body was never found. They said it was his fault the research building burned down. It's not true. My dad was a good man. This place was a hush-hush military installation running on a research grant. It started back west at another base. A Soviet spy plane crashed in the desert and they transported the debris to a base nearby. Only the pilot, a man called Rabinsky, survived. <laughs> Among the rescued items were these little things. They debriefed Rabinsky on these containers, but he seemed as ignorant of their origins as the scientists were. <laughs> yet, 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 yet. Not Soviet. American make. American make. American make. Ты не понимаешь, что я мувье? Somehow, the vial opened, and he was exposed to whatever was inside. His captors knew immediately what had happened and decided it was too risky to keep him in a nuclear facility. So he was brought here, to the research building, right out where the greenhouse is now. He was put in isolation. He came down with the flu. Then his skin peeled. He had hives too. Michael. Then he lost his appetite and he didn't want to sleep either. The doctors could not explain it. All tests came back that he was dead. No vital signs, no reflexes, but there he was, thinking and talking and moving and being his nice self. Hey, check this out. Until he tasted flesh. Human flesh. After that, he started to evolve into something so horrifying the doctors decided to put him down. Except, how do you kill something that's dead already? When he bit the orderly, he passed on the infection. While Rabinsky could think and feel, this new creature had little control over his speech and thought process. Oh my god. He can't be killed. It was a virus replicating machine, infecting all he bit, all he touched. The contagium was irreversible. Within 24 hours, the living dead rose from the carnage. But they stopped him, didn't they? How? You said they were already dead. While they were looking for an antiviral, they discovered that the virus needed full control of the motor and autonomic functions. 
the solution was far simpler than they had anticipated. I was pregnant. That's impossible, Isaac. The contagium, it, it must have... I'm scared. What's happening to us? You got a patient down outside. You don't want one? I'm gonna need some help. He said we were dead. He said we were gonna. He said we were gonna eat people. I left my book out there. No, 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 wait. I don't know where to begin to look to find out how to stop the process. He was about to tell me. Okay, so. His father works at this facility, gets the blame for the fire. In the meantime, there's no indication on what kind of research they were even doing here. Except for what Jerry said. Hey, what's that? Uh, 1965 Buick. No, 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 the place. That's the ravine we were clearing. It is. Dr. Heller called it the DeLuca Ravine. He's known all along. Shit. Can you hear their thoughts? Not anymore. It's like the signal got disconnected. Come on, guys. It's only us. Your friends. We come in peace. <laughs> Take us to your leader. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. You come around. You wait and see. You need it. A little something for later. Hi, Emma. <laughs> you may be right. We'll fight it.
Like Jerry said, the virus is replicated. It's taking over everyone. Donwin! Ava! They dragged one of my men in there. They were pulling them apart like string cheese. We started this morning. What the fuck's gotten into them? We can't let them out! This isn't going to stop them. What's wrong with you? What the hell are you? <laughs> Don't waste your bullets on us. We need every single one of them to stay alive. <laughs> Said. Did you find something when they were looking for an antiviral? Antiviral? What? That shit's contagious? If I had the antiviral for this, I'd keep it under lock and key. That's the key to the cabinet in the medicine room. Another of Dr. Heller's projects. Okay, okay, let's go, go, now, now, now! <laughs> Keys, huh? And I'll find a first aid kit for you. Welcome to my world. Slut. <laughs> hey, Marshal. Watch him go. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall, you look like shit. <laughs> Get 
go, go! How is the virus transmitted? Uh, through a cut or a bite. Shit. into the me. What's it mean? Me? What? Me? What? Ava, what starts with me? You're the doctor! Well, I'm not feeling myself right now, all right? Right. Oh, me. Me. Into, into the medication? No, I think it has something to do with the anatomy.
break our bones, Don Wynn. Quit it over. Keep a lid on it. He's almost here. First in line, Emma. We're one family. We're one. Do the most basic. The face of the head. In the end, the only way to truly defeat death is by the act of dying. Since in that brief moment of nothingness, not even death itself is allowed to exist. This is Wendy Wells with a special report for Channel 12. We have just confirmed reports that dead bodies appear to be coming back to life and attacking those around them. As yet, officials have no explanation for the cause of these strange occurrences, but we have eyewitnesses. Thank you. 